Oh shit. What's up guys, I wanted to make a video today on some things you can do with your Nissan. Uh, this is a KA transmission, but really a VQ, SR, probably RB, all of that shit. Um, you can get these GK Tech, GK Tech uh, fuck if I could speak English today. GK Tech spring kit for the transmission basically it's super fucking easy to install and you really could do it in 10 15 minutes in the car but i have it out of the car so makes it that much easier but um this is i really wanted to make this video for d21 uh guys because there's not really a lot that people know or that you know is documented as far as anything current everything's old um you know it's back from the early 2000s and what have you when mini trucks and all that were the shit and uh you know they're making the comeback obviously and i'm trying to i'm building this thing into a little drift truck uh <clears throat> i have a lot of the parts that people don't know whether you can use them or not and i've done the research and uh, pretty much I have a pretty solid setup I'm going with and it's going to be a turbo KA um, I know it looks crazy. It has four fucking engine hoist points on it right now, but I'm just gonna Attach everything together and throw it in there and uh, you know if I can use all four of them with this engine leveler and make it even easier than why not but Yeah, pretty much all you got to do to install this little shift spring kit is uh, you can there's obviously one for each side, but um, these are the bolt caps that go in there. You can basically take these springs out and they replace your stock springs. These ones are super stiff. You can see they're not super easy to bend. These are the lighter ones. Obviously, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just slap the uh, stiff boys in there. But let's see, go ahead and take these. Bolt caps. I'll go ahead and check out and install them real quick. And I mean, this will fix your sloppy shifter issue, uh, like super sloppy side to side. This will make it feel more notchy. Um, and I mean, GK Tech makes a whole slew of parts that are awesome. Uh, and they're relatively not that expensive either. That was hanging loose. And yeah, I know I painted this thing cold, but it looks, it looks fucking sick. Okay, so basically you come over here. So one and one sixteenth or whatever the fuck that equivalent is a millimeter. I think 26, but uh, not sure. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, one and one sixteenth is a really good bit. Oh. <laughs> uh, oops. Yeah, that was uh, tightened. So yeah. Take that off of there. Like so, it's got one spring in it currently. And it's pretty much like this, like the smaller spring that's over in that kit. But I obviously, like I said, I don't want to use that one. Um, so, let me grab a wrap real quick. I'm gonna clean that out just a little bit, maybe give it just a little. Pull the brake cleaner. Try not to let you, too much brake cleaner get on your paint because it's going to start wearing away at it and like it just did mine, so that's fucking cool. But hey, you know, whatever, for the sake of the video. And you take the smaller spring, put it on there like so, bigger spring around it, and install your cap now there is no o-ring on the stock bolt yeah no o-ring or anything like that i was gonna put some um some o-rings in it you know but didn't honestly feel like i needed to i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side one here by the way if you don't have one of these things this little earthquake XT electric ratchet from Harbor Freight. 
This is bee's knees. Item nine. <laughs> Hopefully you got that reference. Oh. Whatever. Oh, it didn't clear. A little bit over on that side, but it still took a little bit off. Oh well. Yep, bigger spring. Smaller spring, bigger spring, like so. Cabinet. Okay, <clears throat> Do I'm trying to do everything one hand. I got a GoPro Hero 4, but I feel like this iPhone is better than that. I just wanted to spin it backwards so I could get the threads in there. All right. Kind of spin it back until you feel the thread but yeah you can hear the you can hear the spring tightening well springs i should say on both of them in each side but yeah it uh definitely is gonna make quite the difference um because i this truck has 300,000 miles on it. It it had, you know, on the engine and everything, 300,000 miles, but trans is pretty much getting an overhaul. Engine's freshly rebuilt. Uh, got a lot of, a lot of goodies on it. Um, running this uh, center force, dual friction. Uh, it's pretty, honestly, this thing is so sick. Um, you can see kind of the segmented face and on this side and then the other side is actually a full face disc um so you retain the drivability of a you know street clutch but the performance of a putt clutch and it also has weighted finger or weights on the fingers and that is i'm pretty sure a cineforce exclusive thing and that is super uh, that's awesome i'm pretty sure it from what i understand it increases uh spring load as rpms increase so that's gonna be awesome because i'm shooting for 300 it's rated for 450 so um you know that'll be awesome and then i paired it with this um i'm just pairing it with this 240 sx uh, s13 billet flywheel from spec uh when i talked to them they said they didn't know if it'll work on the hard body but you know, it does um, this has the surface for 240 millimeters as well as the stock 225, but the 240 is what we wanted. That's what the D21 clutch is. So 240 flywheel D21 clutch, oops, um, D21 clutch. Um, D21s can stop with the 240 millimeter um, surface area as well as SRs do. Um, but fun fact, D21s can actually use um, any, pretty much any Nissan, clutch uh, that is um, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for you can use VQ um, VQ clutches as well as D21 and I believe SRs damn it took me a little bit to spit that out but uh yeah that's already done that would literally take you 10 minutes inside the car it looks looks a lot better and once I actually torque them down that'll be the right way and so that one, they're both actually, let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Do that with the regular ratchet instead. All right, get my half inch ratchet. I'm not gonna use the electric impact tightening it up. Okay, so I put the camera down and tighten them up real quick. They're not really all the way up, right? But uh, yeah, you know, that still looks cool. Um, also, this would be a good time to do any sensors while you're down there um but really it's a fucking d21 it doesn't really have that many sensors that matter um another thing that you can do is you can use a 240 short shifter with the d21 um as you can see the stock one is super long it's bent like crazy it really does not need all of that um i've got this here and really this is all you need out of the kit all this other shit is garbage um but yeah i'm just gonna basically you take the snap ring do that little spray too dirty and 
yes, I already cleaned this thing. This thing was covered in grease. Um, but yeah, you can probably see little snap rings in there, right there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them out with the pair of needle nose that I have. Probably not, it'd be, you know, right tool for the job, but sometimes you just don't feel like going to the auto parts store. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna fucking work. So, yeah, I might make another video of actually installing that shipper. I'll probably just honestly install it and just show you guys and tell you how it went and, you know, but you can put a short twister in the hard body. Just, it, it'll clean it up a little bit. And I mean, honestly, with the, I got this pretty cool uh, shift knob and I mean, it's pretty tall. So it really, I really don't imagine it's gonna be that bad. It's like almost the same length, but if I like it like that, cool. The short, the throws will probably be a lot shorter. Hopefully, if not, whatever. I'll put the stock one back in. But I'm, I'm almost ninety-five thousand percent positive that you can put it in there. Um, I've read forums, and I'm just gonna do it. I'm sick of, you know, trying to debate and research and figure out if it's gonna work or not. All of it's gonna work. I know it will. Um, yeah, I'm not going to replace the clutch fork. I'm going to clean the rest of this out inside here, but I do have, uh, I replaced the clutch fork last time I did the clutch. Um, when I first bought the truck, it had 280,000 and I burnt the clutch out drifting around. Well, I didn't burn the clutch out. Excuse me. I broke a spring out of the clutch because I was clutch kicking it and abusing the fuck out of it. So I drove it to Nissan and replaced it where I was working at the time. Um, but yeah. So I've got a new clutch fork already in there. I'm just gonna clean that up. I got a new uh, throw out bearing. I'm gonna clean the shaft, the input shaft off, everything like that. Um, I've got a new slave cylinder, master cylinder I'm putting in it. Um, I'm probably gonna throw this stuff on and then, you know, maybe do a little, a little bit of a walkthrough. If you guys are interested in, you know, seeing a little something more on this, please let me know. I'm probably gonna make some videos anyways. Uh, I'm trying to really, see just help everybody out man um you know just try and spread what i've learned about the ka24e what some do's and don'ts because i've learned some the fucking hard way but uh you know it's it's gonna be a ripper man i'm gonna take this thing to the events this year um probably gonna you know i'm really gonna document all of that and i'm gonna hopefully if i start gaining a little bit of a following i'm gonna buy a better gopro because it's the Hero 4 doesn't have the stabilization on it like I want, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to try and just, you know, keep it going, uh, stick with it. If it doesn't go anywhere, even, you know, I'm not necessarily worried about monetary wise, but, you know, even if I could help people just, you know, either avoid mistakes or inspire them to do something like I did, this is not an extremely expensive build. Um, I mean, I really... I really did what I needed to do to make sure it's going to be reliable and make a solid 250 to 300. But, um, you know, it's, it's not like everybody says, um, you know, it's, it's not super hard to turbo this thing. Um, it, you gotta have the time and the know-how, but, um, I mean, obviously the money is a little bit of a factor, but you know, I just, I don't have a crazy amount of money tied into this thing and it, it is going to be something else so um yeah hopefully if you you know if you guys like what i'm trying to do here uh subscribe you know like comment whatever let me know how i'm doing it's going to be pretty sick uh, i'll do an actual walkthrough on the truck the bay does not look like a whole lot right now but i can assure you this bay used to look way worse i've done what i can with tucking things and deleted all egr um any type of excess vacuum bullshit that because this truck has a whole bunch of vacuum stuff in it so i'm, I'm this will look a lot better when it's done but yeah uh it's a it's a pretty sweet little truck man i love it it's got a little duck bill on it i do roll pan soon but i also have my infinity which is what i did the first video on 
Um, that's what I kind of started the video off with, but I'll check back in with y'all soon when I get all of this stuff here put in. Um, I'm gonna, you know, so I can get the engine off the stand. Uh, I got the hoist over there already set up. Get the engine off the stand, set it up on the ground uh, safely with some wood blocks, and then uh, put the flywheel on, put the clutch on, uh, make clean the rest of the trans, well, the inside of the trans is the only thing that's left. Uh, do that, slap her on, and I'll probably start the next video out when I actually have it in and pretty much hooked up, because, uh, you know, that's actually something a little bit more exciting. I'll try and video my first startup or whatever, but, you know, uh, I got some more work I'm going to be doing to this thing, sway away torsion bars, re-indexing those, um, dropping this thing a little bit more, I'm trying to tuck the tire in the front, I got 17 by 9s, you can see the curb crash, ignore that, ignore that, uh, yeah, but 17 by 9, uh, I think they're 205 40s on here. Uh, everybody always asks me what kind of wheels these are. These are level eight. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. You can figure out the rest. Do a little bit of Googling. But, but yeah, guys, I'll be here, uh, you know, I'm gonna try and release videos on a somewhat steady, uh, you know, somewhat steady schedule, I guess, or, you know, at least try and do something like that. I've been out here, you know, on i've been out here grinding on this damn thing and um you know i'm really trying to get it for race season or drift season whatever the fuck you want to call it but you know, if you guys stick around i'll be here building cool stuff uh, i can show you a little bit more about both of these things and uh you know in the future i'll probably actually i can't say probably i won't 100 percent have other projects but for the time being these things are really getting completely rebuilt and turned into shredders this thing's gonna be hitting some events here in Virginia this year. So stay tuned. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great one.